Bon dia mundo! So this morning we are out of the hotel and we are heading to Botanical Garden. The Jardim Botanical. <laughs> it is apparently only a 10 minute walk from the hotel. So we are on foot and Jay is using the SatNav app to guide us there. <laughs> the pictures of it look really nice that we've seen and I think I read it's the biggest botanical garden in Portugal so we'll see. We're also going to film for some tiny moments shots. Jay's got the big old camera and steady cam with us as well so we're gonna do that. Just walking past an estate agent and you can get a two-bedroom apartment overlooking the river for 89,000 euros. Another one here for 79 and a half thousand euros. That is not bad at all. Right, so the gate to the park on ground level was shut only for authorised personnel. <laughs> So the sat nav has told us to walk up this really steep hill. <laughs> Hopefully it's taken us the right way. Although even if it's not, it's really pretty up here. We've got some good views and very nice streets that we're walking up. But it's quite steep though. <laughs> oh no, we found the park but it's locked. All right, we're still walking. <laughs> we haven't found a gate yet that's open to the park but we have stumbled across this aqueduct which is very cool can't really fit it in but it's very cool look Whee! <laughs> it sounds like there's some activity in here I'm not sure how they got in though well, she's having fun there must be a gate along this road <laughs> Hopefully, I don't fancy scaling the walls. <laughs> okay, we found the entrance. And dogs are allowed on leads. Yep, Eden can come next time, as long as she's kept on a lead. I'm glad we found the entrance, it's so pretty <laughs> in here. Yeah, definitely. You can see the aqueduct better from here, from a bit further away. This is really nice, there's a fountain through here. Whee! Wow. Look at that! <laughs> it's, a seed down there, isn't it? <laughs> it's very palatial grounds. Lovely. Oh, we've just sat down in the shade for a little bit. It is very hot out there in the sun, but it's so lovely here. I don't know what to look at. Everything. <laughs> It's really pretty and I think it's rather large as well so I don't think we'll be able to see it all but what we've seen so far, very impressive. We've just been sitting under these beautiful trees looking around and taking pictures and thinking about where we are. It's a very very nice place. We're feeling better about Queenborough and the area we're moving to every day. Very excited about what the future holds. What do you think of this place, Ash? I love it. It's beautiful. Can't wait to bring Eden back here. Yeah, I want to bring <laughs> proper camera in here as well, yeah. take some proper pictures. Beautiful shots. Yes. We are leaving the botanical garden now. Have to say that was probably one of the nicest gardens I've ever been in. <laughs> Very beautiful. Can't wait to bring Eden back and the seed. <laughs> we are back down the hill and we've just sat down at a cafe to get a snack. We are sitting at the Pastelaria Briosa and we've gone for two vegetarian quiches and a big bottle of water. It's hot today isn't it? Very hot. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to put deodorant on. Oh no. But I'm, I'm alright. <laughs> we walked past a little digital screen and it said it was 32 degrees today, which is hotter than Google said it was going to be. We've just left the cafe and the total for the two spinach tarts and big water was five euros exactly. And we're heading back to the hotel now. 
So we did come back to the hotel, but we are going out again now. <laughs> we came back for a very quick stop, and now we are gonna drive to a town called Aviro. It is about a 40 minute drive to Aviro. It's meant to be nice there, they call it the Venice of Portugal. If it is still lovely, sunny, nice weather when we get there, I think I'm gonna treat myself to an ice cream. <laughs> Haven't had one yet. We always have to have an ice cream on holiday. <laughs> in Aviro. It's a bit windier here so I've put my jacket on because it's chilly in the wind <laughs> but we are we parked and we are just gonna have a wander around and see what we can find. Saw the canal when we drove in it looked quite nice so we'll go and have a walk along there and see what we can find. First impressions, looks sweet. Yeah. It's quite nice. On Very the... touristy. Yeah. But different. They've got canals here and these little boats are, I forgot what they're called now, but they're like gondolas. Going with an M, don't they? Yeah, I forgot now. <laughs> anyway, it's good. We're gonna go and have a look around. Aviro, the Venice of Portugal, or so they say. But I'm quite liking these back streets a little bit more than the canals. The houses here seem smaller, intricately tiled, not busy at all. Some of these streets look too small for a car even, which is part of its appeal. But it's interesting to walk down the street and just think about the people living here. This is their home. And daily life goes on, even though tourists like us walk through marvel at the tiling and the shapes of their homes every day. Must be strange. And you can see why it's an appealing town. Eventually you do come down to the canals, although with the rivers come more tourists, more people, and more people selling boat tours. I like it here so far, but now I think I need an ice cream. We're still wandering down the side street, looking for ice cream. Haven't found anywhere clear cut that sells gelato yet. Lots of places to eat though. Not hungry at the moment. We've eaten, haven't we, Seth? <laughs> Just ice cream hunt. But the moment I say that, gelato is the Portugal. A really nice looking menu. Chosen what you want? They're quite unusual flavours. Yeah. Chestnuts with port wine. Pastel donata flavour ice cream. <laughs> Might get the chocolate with meringue or the blueberry with raspberry and chocolate. Thank you. Do you like it? This one's lovely, yeah. I haven't tried the old one yet. Go and try it. Delicious. Yogurty. Baby is kicking. Doctor in Thailand told us that baby will kick if you eat something cold. <laughs> Stop now. See, the ice cream's gone. No more kicks. <laughs> There we did a bit of people watching, a bit of wandering around and now we're heading back to the car so we can go and see the beach. There's a beach nearby. We'll go there and we'll see it's meant to be recommended place to visit when you come down to Aveiro so let's see what it's looked like. We have arrived at the beach. It is called Costa Nova and it looks quite different here from what we've seen before. He 
these little houses look very cute. I wonder if people live in them. Yeah, they must be. One of them's a restaurant, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, the rest of them are just houses, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> That's a nice looking one, isn't yeah. it? Trying to figure out if there's actually a beach, a sandy beach here somewhere. They're selling boogie boards, so there must be. Rather pretty. Around the beach. Yeah, they've got this walkway which goes along the sand so you don't have to get your feet sandy. <laughs> the sand is very fine and white, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Lots of people enjoying themselves here. I'm a bit cold though, to be honest. I could do with put my jumper on. But there's people over there in their bikinis. Enjoying the Portuguese sunshine. I don't know what it is though. Oh, I'm freezing. Do you think we'll acclimatise to this weather or is it actually cold? No, I think we'll acclimatise. People are sunbathing, so yeah. it can't be that as cold as we feel right now. <laughs> and we are debating whether this will be our closest beach or not. We're not sure because when we go into Motagua, it's further inland, so I'm not quite sure exactly where the nearest beach will be, but this may be it. So, so far, quite pleased, very clean sand. Nice. Taking a seat, having a look at the area of Costa Nova. Quite impressed, had quite a good day. Yeah, another nice day in Portugal. Yeah, still impressed, <laughs> still liking it. We are going to end the video here now because we have to drive back to Coimbra, pack up, and then head to our house tomorrow. Yeah, excited about that. I am too, <laughs> yeah. I'm excited about feeling at home, yeah. you know, cooking, doing a little bit of homey stuff. So that's what will happen after this. So we hope you enjoyed today. Please hit the thumbs up button if you're enjoying our journey through Portugal, the early stages. Yeah. And subscribe to this channel to see more. And we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.